Hi guys. Okay, we're back and uh, tinkering in the uh, Mo Garage again. Nicholas actually painted his uh, new drag slash set up there. It came out pretty sharp. And that was just painted about three hours ago. And that's ready for the sand. And we picked up some aluminum wheels. Um, had them shipped from Florida. And there's one right there. Another one there. And we've got brand new bead locks that will uh, end up, I'm not sure, we may end up having them anodized, either black or blue to go with the, you know, the blue paint. Similar to these. So it'll look pretty good. Anyway, the reason for the video today. Let me start out with, we uh, used to have a chase cage by itself. And a gentleman online on one of the uh, fifth scale Facebook uh, clubs was asking if anybody had a chase cage. And... I'm not really crazy about a chase cage, but you know, it's, I, I know that living in California, I see them quite a bit. I see, I don't know, probably five of them a year for sale. So I figured, okay, well I could hook this guy up. Well, so I sold him my chase cage last week, sent it to him. He's happy. All good. I sent it. Um, I sold it to him for 400. I'm sorry, $200. So I sold them for $200. Two days later, I respond to an ad where this guy was asking $700 for a uh, Baja 5 SC. Now the original body, the SC body is destroyed, but this is an HPI. However, this body on here is not HPI. I believe it's King Motor. Anyway, so I went to go look at it. And the gentleman, super nice guy, I believe his name is Jason, lives in the city of Orange here in California. Um, he said that uh, you know, he's willing to negotiate to 550. And I was interested, absolutely. I told him I'd pay in full. However, when I got there, he said that there's something wrong with the steering. So I think it's a steering servo. So I bought a new Savox uh, servo which is over here I put it in so he gave me this servo that he never put in he just opened the box and um, he said you know this problem was steering so I checked the car put it on the ground and I grabbed the steering the whole front end and the entire front end was wobbling back and forth so looking deeper into it We found out that the chassis had actually split in half. So if you look here, that the top plate is cracked in half. And I know it's hard to see, but right here as it goes and then tapers up, that is cracked in half. So all good though. And look, there's another chase cage on top of it. So basically, Sold the one for 200 and that gave me money for this vehicle. Now that I found out that that was all cracked in there, we had discussed that, you know, I didn't want to make this a waste of time driving all the way to Orange and that I was still interested because I have several other cars and I could use it, parts, whatever, or restore it and bring it back. So he showed me that it did run um, we fired it up. We did not drive it, obviously, but all the steering, the stock steering servo does work. Throttle servo does work. Um, motor fired right up instantly. All good. And he said, well, I'm sorry I wasted your time. And I said, well, you know what? Uh, what do you want for it? And the way it is with the crack chassis and all that, I can, I can still get the parts. So he says, 
uh, you know, make me an offer. Well, I just got the 200 from the other Chase Cage and I never start up high. So I start, I said, how about $275? I feel that's fair and basically it's free. I mean, it's just 75 bucks out of my pocket. And he says, you know what? That's fine. You know what? I, I need to get rid of it. You can fix it. I told him about my son and I that we, you know, um, are slowly putting together a YouTube channel. And he was happy to hook us up for $275. We bought this car. And it came with the brand new, in the box, um, new SC body from King Motor, which is about $109, $110. And I will say, it is very, very thin. But... You know what? All in all, it'll be fine. It has the chase cage. I don't know if we'll, we'll run it with the body or not, but at least it has a full chase cage again. And uh, so we started uh, looking at all the stuff that we have in the goodie drawer. And so also Jason was nice enough real quick. Jason was nice enough to uh, give us the uh, big, thick manual which I've never had this manual. I've only had the other thinner one, you know, not the kit version. So this is outstanding to have. Then um, we had a bunch of extra parts. So it looks like we're going to go with Turtle again for the rear brace. We're going to try and see if we can put that uh, uh, RC Max tranny in there. I just ordered uh, a couple other things. Let's see. So we have a front front shock tower. And we already had this brace. Um, so that's going to take you know, care of that upper brace that is cracked, which is kind of funny. So this guy will go in there. And then we never use that Bartolone pipe. So this Bartolone pipe will fit in there. That'll work. What we're probably going to do, though, we'll probably end up taking off this black paint. Believe it or not, this thing's brand new, but I was screwing with this uh, bracket right here. And I believe it was designed for the buggy or something. I don't know. But I will adapt it and make it work in there i already had it in on one of uh, the other car that i had and then we test drove it and it works good for uh for a stock 26 motor but so we have the front uh, like i said the front plate shock tower transmission case rear turtle racing transmission uh what the hell, the hell it's called um and we also have turtle racing back rear shock tower brace. And what else do we have? We have a brand new bumper with the aluminum plate that is like that bumper. Or like that one from the Baja Bug or the sand rail blade so we could put this with this or we were debating um, putting this bumper that we had from another truck a while back so this will go on as well or could go on and it is longer as you can see so it would probably, because the body goes right here, and this will probably work as well. It'll look pretty sharp. And today, we got a new chassis in. So we're going to put this chassis on and uh, start bolting up all the parts, guys. So there you have it. Stay tuned for... Another Moe's Garage build. Talk to you later.